Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glumper Camper. Today we are doing a quite large unboxing. So this is the Cebu Classics Inc. Ultra HD Rolling Workbench model number UHD20142B. PO number 231040. So it always annoys me when stuff comes on pallets. We've ordered other stuff before that comes on pallets too. I wish that they would just drop this and then take the pallet away, but that's okay. Zena, what is inside of you? What is inside of you? So first, we will open, this one says box one of two. So we'll open the top box first. Okie dokie. So I just got all of the pieces opened, taken out. There's a ton of them, like one, two, like 20, a bajillion over here, a bajillion over there. So now we are going to just go through step by step. So let's see what the first step is. Hey, so we are going to work on step one. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying is you're supposed to somehow read the directions before you take everything out the box because the directions tell you to keep this like in the cardboard spot where it was. But um, obviously I didn't read the directions before I unpackaged everything. So I just got these two blankets. It's just so you don't scratch the top of it. So now we are going to screw on the back frame or the number four. So I've got that right here. Now the instructions actually seem kind of easy to understand. You just have to pay attention to what everything is numbered. All the screws and stuff came in numbered bags. So I just laid them out and left the number, left the bag with them so that I don't get it mixed up. So now Using the tool that they have included, I put down a washer, I think that's what this is called, and then a bolt on top. So this is part number 40 is this bolt screw thing, and number 27B is the washer. Now there's three of these. So before I tighten any, I'm just gonna get three the three um, hand tightened. Zena, come here. Zena. Zena doesn't wanna help me. And then now that I know I didn't want to tighten that end until I saw that this was like perfectly on the corner. So now that I know that the corners are good, now I can tighten them. Zena, come look at this. This is the new old bench. This is the new old bench. Okay, so I am just going to tighten these three bolts and I will be right back. Okie dokie, so we got that done. Interesting is these two, I couldn't seem to get them any tighter, but the one on the end is really tight and I can't get them any tighter, so we gotta move on. That was actually step two. Now step three is installing the left side panel number one. Now we have three number 15 screws and then the screwdriver 
and we just screw in the side panel right here. Now obviously this needs to be able to like come out, you get what I'm saying? So there's three holes, we'll just line those up and I am going to screw these in and we will be right back. It's actually showing you the wrong side. That is the right side. This is the left side. So the screws go through the holes that line up with another screw hole. Now this one is nearly impossible. I mean, you can't really stick your hand in there. So you have to kind of use the screwdriver to go with your fingers. It's kind of awkward. Okay, so now we are on to step four. We are installing part 11. This is the left slider support. So we're using the same screws again. We have the most of these screws, literally a bajillion of them. And then again, you're just gonna line up the holes. Now, one thing to note, for me, it's been a little confusing so far. When a piece like this says top, like on right here, It says top on this sticker right here. Now that doesn't mean like the top of where you're working. That means the bottom of the top, if that makes any sense. Because at first that was not um, resonating with my brain. I did not really understand what I was supposed to be doing there. But I've got the holes lined up. And again, the hole down here is kind of awkward. So you just have to um, use your fingers pretty well. But we're gonna get that screwed in and then we'll move on to step five. Okay, now we are on to step five, installing the right slider support or number 27. Again, where it says top means the bottom of the top and front means coming towards you. So you wanna make sure that these are extending. Obviously, if it was flipped around, the shelving would not work because this would be facing that back side. Now, I do just wanna make one note. I'm using the same screws again to screw in to the holes, if it will focus back there. And just one note, so obviously I am starting this by myself. Mr. Cameraman might be home by the time I'm finished. You could count Xena over there. She's my little mechanic buddy. She's like a little helper, but, um. The actual company does recommend two people to assemble the workbench. So obviously some of these pieces are super, super heavy. So I just wanna make it clear that they do say that this is a two person job. This is another um, super awkward spot to screw in. So I'm holding with my thumb and then I put my other hand finger on the other side and then I just kind of twist back and forth. So the, the tight spots are kind of awkward. Step six is just installing the right side panel. So this is number two, top, front. And I did just realize this, I just wanted to show you real fast while it's taken apart. These little black scallops, the, that it's almost like a snowman shape right there, that like locks in the shelf. So see, now that it's kind of clicked in, it's like harder to um, pull out. You get what I'm saying? Like this slides real nice, but once it kind of clicks in there, it kind of like grips it. So that is pretty nice. Now we're just gonna line up the holes with the holes and we're using the same screws. Okay, so Xena just got that screwed in. Now step seven seems like quite a doozy. It, Clearly, as you see, it should really be step seven, eight, nine, but it's seven A, seven B, seven C. So I've got all of the stuff I'm gonna need. And this is called the front frame or piece number three. So I'm pretty sure it is this big baby right here, but I just want to confirm if I see a sticker somewhere. Yep, front frame number three, this is the top. Okay, so we've got it aligned. You just kind of have to like jiggle 
to get them to line up together. And now if you thought that screwing in the holes was awkward earlier, this is even more awkward because you can't screw it in from this side. You have to go in from the back. So let's see how fast I can do that. This part is super annoying because you've got the screw driver down in there like that and you can't see the holes on this side. So I've been going for a while now and you can't tell. I mean, you can tell it's not going in, but you can't tell where the hole is. So you just kind of got to like push it back and forth, but I can't seem to find the hole. I realize that I think it's like this one back here. So only the top hole and the bottom hole will remain empty, but there's two, the two holes in the middle will get a screw. So we finished part A and B of step seven. So now we're gonna use the same pieces that we used to screw in the back plate. So you just drop it in. Put your little bolt or screw or whatever it's called on top. And then you use this handy dandy tool once you get it hand tightened enough. Well, so far, the hardest part has been opening the boxes and screwing in the screws. Not too terrible though. So then this, you just twist it around. Now the instructions do warn not to like super tighten them until you have all three in. This I'm having the same troubles I had on the back. So this one right back there, I got super tight and then the other two are not as tight. Now these two got super tight, but this one I can't seem, I can't seem to make like tight. It's like, it's not getting harder if that makes sense. Like as something gets tighter, it should get harder to like twist on, you get what I'm saying? And it is not getting harder. So I think that is as tight as it's gonna get. Now we can move on to the next step, which is... I don't know what this means. The ball bearing track will have to be pulled out to expose the screw holes. Hmm. I don't know what they mean by that, but maybe that would have made it easier. I don't understand. But let's move on to step eight. Installing the base panel number five, and we will use 14 number Bs. So 14 of the same super tiny little ones. My number five seems like it um, might be a little bit too big. I can't seem to get it to fit down in there. So maybe if I kind of just move this side a little. Okay. But it's nice because you'll have like a level bottom shelf or i don't know if you'll be able to access it i guess but it's like a level bottom see this oh there we go you just kind of gotta give it a little push now let's i forgot how many we need 14 of the little babies one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14. Now, we, where do I screw it in? Okay, so it gets screwed in, in all the holes, all the way around. I'm screwed in, and Zena told me she's already over being a little mechanic workshop worker. So far, I don't know. I should have been timing myself. I want to say I've been into this project about an hour and a half to two hours now. Granted, I'm a little bit slower than like a big, like 
burly, muscular dude, I guess, but maybe I'm slow, but it's taken me a while. So we just got the top all screwed in. So now we're on to step nine. So we will be installing the wheels. Now, attach wheels 12B and 13B using 16 pieces of screw D17. Make sure that the wheels without brakes are on the same end, right or left. So, both brakes, I guess, have to be on the same side. So, let's get the brakes. These are like heavy-duty wheels. It's actually, you're going to have a bit of space under it. So, then you just line up the holes there. And I think, well, I guess the wheel spins, so it doesn't matter where you place the brake now. Okay, so get that lined up. Now we'll put the two that don't have a brake on this side. The only thing is, like I said, if you are probably a lot stronger than me and did this a lot, you might be a little bit faster. But I've got to be honest, I mean, I've got some pretty skinny fingers. And if you had fingers much wider than mine, I just feel like it would be really hard to screw all these in. I don't know. Maybe I was doing something different, but I could see that being an issue. Now we got to find out what screws we need. So it says use 14, no, use 16 screw D number 17. So if we look over here, so this bag is labeled 17. So we need 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we use the same screwdriver. And when you're putting on the wheels, you can't tighten one down before you get all four threaded or else they don't fit properly and they go in at an angle. Now for step 10, attaching the bumper to number 57 to the bottom four corners of the workbench with using 16 number 42 screws. So let's get those screwed on. And these are the bumpers and the black screws. So this is what the bumpers with the screws in them look like. So now we'll go on to the next step, which is flipping it over and then attaching push bars number nine onto panels one and two using 24 number 41s. So first let's flip it over. Okay, so we got it flipped over. This is the push bar. Now there are some slight imperfections. So if perfect is what you want, this might not be for you. But I mean, will that really be noticeable to anyone except for me? Probably not. And here are the screws we're gonna be using. So we just got the hand, oh, well, apparently I did not tighten that side all the way. Now there's one right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it will not go in flat. I don't know what the issue is. Okay, so we got that side on in this side. Now let's see what the next step is. So we just did 11. Now we're on 11B. Use number... Somebody's trying to talk to Mr. Cameraman. So we need to use two 
number 15 screws to fasten number 23 on the front. Two 15s to fasten this guy on the front. Let's see what that's going to look like. is a strong magnet. Is the magnet supposed to go on the bottom or is it supposed to be like that? No, I can't imagine it's supposed to be like that. And then, I wasn't even showing it to you guys. Is this supposed to be in front or is that supposed to be in front? Let's look. Which way is it supposed to go? It doesn't, that piece is different than this piece. That piece they show doesn't have this little piece missing right here. So, we're gonna put it this way. Okay, so Mr. Cameraman just got here. He is going to do the first bending step. Yeah, and the important thing is you bend it uh, this way, so then your your tracks are out. If you bend it the other way, that's the wrong way. So you want these to be facing outwards because that's how the drawer is going to uh, slide in and out. And then now, I'm pretty sure this is the piece. It's the only piece that doesn't have a sticker on it, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that gets screwed on right here. Now Zena is supervising Mr. Cameraman. He's getting all these screwed in. We're using the number 15 screws. While he finishes step 12, I'm going to get step 13's pieces. So I need the medium drawer front. So 12, one, and then seven number 15's. So 12 one is this one, I believe. Yep. There's 12 one and seven 15s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here are your screws. And while he works on that, I did notice this earlier and I haven't done it yet. It, um, right here on the sliders, it says that you have to remove all of these little rubber protectors on each one. So there's a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to go take all these out. Now we're just doing each one of the shelves one by one. This was the medium one, this is the biggest one, and now we're doing the small ones. So it's the same concept, you just kind of like fold them in. Yeah, and uh, what I would do is just kind of a little bit at a time all the way. Don't, don't bend it from here, and then this part would get off kind of screwed up. So just uh, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. And then here, you can kind of just use both hands and, and do it at the same time. And then you know everything's gonna be straight. One thing I have noticed putting these screws in, they don't always line up. They're a little bit off. This one looks okay, but the other drawers haven't been. So before you tighten all your screws, just kind of put them in loosely, get everything lined up, and then tighten them. Don't tighten one, one side uh, real tight because then you might not be able to get the other side in. So very loose until everything's in, all the screws are in, then you can tighten them. And that is the same, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, that's the same with the wheels and with these handles. On both of those, I accidentally tightened a couple of them too tight and then another one wouldn't fit. 
So you had to kind of hand tighten each one and then screwdriver tighten them at the end. So we're just gonna keep putting all of the shelves together. It's very important that you fold these the correct way because if you don't, let's say you bend them this way by accident, then you have to bend them back. It will weaken these metal tabs, maybe to the point that it could break. So it's very important that you're folding the smooth side into the smooth side. And don't overbend it. If you overbend it, then you'd have to bend it back. Every little bend will weaken those tabs. So be very careful and try to just do it correctly from the get-go so you're not weakening all of those tabs. So we got all the drawers put together and now we are on step 15. So it wants us to put in the big one first. So you just have to pull out the ball bearing track completely and then attach the drawer. There's slots on the drawers on the sides that you will uh, put into tabs that are on the rollers that come out for the tracks. And then you attach it with four pieces of the number 15 screw. So we are going to get that going. So it's better to just show this. Right here you have holes. On the tracks you have tabs. You set these holes on top of the tabs. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna line them up. Okay, now that that's on, you have a screw here and a screw there, and same on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in so then this drawer stays on the track. Don't just set it on the track and think you're done. Put in these screws so that the uh, drawer won't jump out of those uh, tabs somehow. So we're just gonna finger tighten them until we have all of them in and they're lined up and then we will tighten them down with the screwdriver. Once you're done with this larger drawer, you can continue the process with the other drawers this one is bigger than all the smaller ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that next. And it appears that the rest of the drawers are uh, all the same, and they're the uh, smaller of the uh, drawers that we have. So remember, line up the tabs, the holes, get your screws, and put them in, and continue that process. So we will show you what it looks like once we're done with all the drawers. Now that all the drawers are in, we're going to do step 16, installing the shelf or piece number 6, which this appears to be the easiest step there is. No screws or anything. There's just hooks that are going to hook right in to these little notches, and we can pick exactly what height we want to put this at. So that is what all of the drawers look like, and we are just going to put the shelf in down here. So the tabs in here weren't quite um, latching onto the metal, so we just used a screwdriver to kind of bend them out a little bit. Looks pretty good. So now we just have to put on the doors. So this is step 17. It says that we are going to need two pieces for left door hinge, so two number 18s and 20A, and then number 19 and 20B. So let's get those parts. So we just got everything all finished up. So this is how the keys function. So this key right here 
does this first row of drawers. And then this key. Now that's locked. And now the top ones are unlocked. And then there's another key for these ones too. Totally now to put on this, we just, this did take two people. So you have these on the door and then somebody holds the door while somebody else screws them in right here. And then there's that shelf on the inside. So right now we are just gonna put in all of the shelf liners or the drawer liners. And I'm sure that's nice to just kind of hold your tools in place so when you open the drawer, they're not flying everywhere. So we're just gonna get all of that hooked up and then we'll get this guy in his new home. Well, after multiple, 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 multiple hours, we have it in its new home. This thing is crazy, crazy, crazy nice. I'm definitely gonna have an Amazon affiliate link down below if you guys wanna check this out on Amazon. If you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Zena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one.